Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have isolated the change password feature and add the validation for new and retype password. So if the both are same, only then change password button will be shown. In the else case, it will get high. In the last video, I have, uh, I have also explained that we are going to create an API call to update the password if the current password is matched with the uh, available password in the database and replaced with the new password. So stop the execution of application. I will copy the existing call setting and name it as change password. Okay, in the change password. I am going to create a model here we have different models so simply create a model class and here we are going to declare three fields in this model which is of change password model model is created it is of public I, I need to create prop oops here is prop type of string okay current password then I need to create new password okay two fields I needed here I will add change password in the here change okay if session is not valid and model is valid uh, open the dapper connection uh, here we have the user registration procedure filter is change password and here is new password new password is equal to change dot new password okay and then we need to encode this password in this way or I can use the existing filter So I, how I can check the password, I, how I can update uh, with the user ID, I can update the password. So I also need a user ID, user ID, here is change dot user ID. Okay. So where this user ID get match? here is a filter and then uh, update the password okay uh, this is the one scenario okay uh, this is the one scenario uh, I, ha I also have to cover some other scenarios okay uh, let me search for the JSON result here we need a JSON result in the JSON result we are returning done in the else case we are returning the fail return done in the else case return fail and that's it change password okay now it's worked fine now we need to fetch the current password this will update the new password but it will not fetch the current password for this we have to use transaction so we need to cover two queries within one query first we will select the data and then we will after selecting that data we will validate the other field or we can simply add a filter instead of using transaction we can add filter 
current pass uh, sorry add parameter current password with current password okay if it is get match it will update the previous password or if it doesn't match it will not update the password but we will get the success message uh, upon here that it is match if you want to isolate that you have to use transaction how you can use that here we can use transaction we are using dapper dapper connection dot you can see here we can use begin transaction the transaction get begin and we can use multiple transactions here okay let's play with the transaction so first I am going to add another using by dapper dot uh, open it will start the connection so the connection is open using trans is equal begin transaction and from here we are starting our transaction or we can simply use this one to oops uh, I have to add the these parentheses here and it will be fine okay whenever you are working with the transaction you have to add transaction in your queries so like here we are executing and here is my parameter command type and here I am going to add transaction transaction and now add the name of transaction which we have created which is trans like this so it is under one transaction until I will not commit the transaction it will not uh, updated in the database so this is the single transaction having single query now I am going to add an other query to fetch the record of existing password so simply what I will do here we have dynamic parameters my param for this query now I'm going to add an other dynamic parameters for my param pass and fetch the password which is current password match with that upon this user ID filter is get change current password and instead of execute I will fetch the information using query ok query and here we have var current pass current password data we will get current password data here and until that I will comment this and let's add a filter in this procedure it is expanding in this procedure we will add a filter for change password to and current password modify it is loading okay let's copy else if add a filter current password
select oops all from sec underscore user is equal to this and here we have password where user equal to this and password is equal to that password okay and execute so it will return me a password here if it is get matched else it will return me nothing I will add a debugger here and debug this in the next video tutorial I hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel take care bye bye have fun